35 years ago, I said, you don't have to be a Jew to be a Zionist, and I'm a Zionist. <laughs> you don't have to be a Jew to be a Zionist. It's been 65 years since the deadliest day of the Jewish people since the Holocaust. 65 years. I taken all my children when they turned 14 years of age, my, my, my three children who lived and uh, my five grandchildren when they're 14 years old, I put them on a plane, I take them to Dachau. As I said after the attack, my commitment to the safety of the Jewish people and the security of Israel, its right to exist, is independent, Jewish, as an independent Jewish state, is unshakable. Folks, were there no Israel, there wouldn't be a Jew in the world or a Body, what the late Rabbi Jonathan Sachs said, people whose capacity for joy cannot be destroyed but itself, it cannot destroy itself, it's indestructible. Let me close with this. You know, after October 7th, my father, our father returned to his kibbutz to salvage what he could from his home. What was left was the rubble and ruin. The home which hid he had hidden in with his wife and his daughter for 20 hours before being rescued. A home in the same neighborhood where his beloved son was brutally murdered. And like the ancient Hanukkah story, buried piles of shattered glass, burned debris, and full of riddled walls, he pulled something in from the ashes fully intact, a menorah. That's now on display in the foyer of this, of this White House, your house, just outside this room. He gave it to the President of Israel, who lent it to the Ambassador Jack Lew, a symbol, a symbol of the Jewish people that not only survive, but heal, rebuild, and continue to shine their light on the world. A reminder, a reminder to hold on to the miracle of hope and faith. Because when we do, no night is so dark we can't find light. No night is so dark we can't find light. No one knows that better than Jewish.